Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, let's do this problem right here. The question is asking to find the change in inter internal energy, so delta u. And here, if you see the first uh, system that is compressed by like this, and initial pressure is given 1.5 atm, final pressure also 1.5 atm. So since uh, both of them have same pressure, that's an isobaric process. If the pressure is constant, that's isobaric, right? Isobaric, isobaric pressure, and uh, V1 is given 15 liter, V2 is given 2 liter, and they are asking to find the delta U. So let's see how we can find it. Delta U is equal to Q minus W. That's the general generic equation. So here we have Q that's provided minus 800, but we don't have the W right here, right? So we have to calculate that one. To calculate that one in an isobaric process, Wg is equal to P delta V, right? So here we have the P that is 1.5 atm. 1.5 atm times delta V is going to be change in pressure, I mean change in volume. Uh, that's going to be 2 liter final minus initial, so it's 2 liter minus 30, I mean 15. That's going to give us negative 30. So let's write this one 2 liter minus 15 liter that's going to give us negative 13 right so this is going to be 1.5 atm times 13 liter but we want the final answer in joule so we have to multiply this one by 101.3 joule atm liter so here atm atm cancel liter liter cancels and final answer we will get in terms of U. So if you plug all this value in calculator, you will get negative 1976 joule. Also, we can be like you have to accept the negative answer because whenever we have compressed, it is work done to the system, right? So work done to the system, it means uh, work done to the system always negative. And if it's work done by the system, that's positive. So since work done to the system, this is ne negative, so that's prove that one, this is the right answer, right? So now we can go ahead and apply this one in this equation and find our delta u. So let's uh, plug this one. So this is going to be minus 800 minus minus uh, 1976. And that's going to give us, uh, this is going to become plus, minus, minus, plus. So this is going to be minus 800 plus 1976 and that's equal to 1176 joule. joule that's going to be the change in internal energy and that's how we do these kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time